Okay, Fluffs. It's time for me to do a show. Fluffy! All right. Happy Apollo anniversary, everybody. I'm up here in the high Canadian Arctic up on Devon Island. It's the largest uninhabited island in the whole world. Well, at least it's uninhabited most of the year. So some holidays are special and that you really only think about them while they're happening. Like people's birthdays, for instance. But the Apollo anniversary is a little different. A lot of us who are really into space and, and the prospect of humans eventually going back into space, beyond Earth orbit, back to the moon, onto Mars, finding new worlds and making discoveries and maybe even staying there and living. People like us, we think about Apollo all the time because we wonder, by golly, how come we haven't gone back? Well, you know what? I'm kind of excited because I just read on the internet, which we do have internet up here in the high Arctic, because NASA don't mess around. We're really high tech up here. But anyway, I just read an article that said that that the Apollo 11 astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, they're getting together and they're pitching the idea of going to Mars. Okay, we've been to Mars already, but not humans. Humans haven't gone to Mars. Well, guess what, guys? We're on it. We're on it already. We are so on it. We've been studying all the myriad of things we need to know to get humans doing stuff on the moon and on Mars for years up here on Devon Island. I mean, there's so many things we have to figure out. If you really think about it, it's no wonder we haven't been back because when we do go back, we're gonna do more than just plant flags and make footprints and pick up some rocks. We're gonna stay a while and really do stuff. The Hot and Mars Project is working on everything from spacesuit redesign, cleaning our spacesuits for the moon and Mars to be flexible, really bend, so that geologists can really do good work over long periods of time without the dust getting in there and ruining everything. We're working on traverse planning, long range traverse planning, not just little traverses. We're working on robotics, the relationship between humans and robots, which is really important, could be life-saving. And there are other kinds of robots too. Let's not forget drills. Drills are gonna be super important on the moon and Mars to really get some good science done. I'm here at Drill Hill. I'm about to walk over there and interview some scientists from NASA Ames. They're setting up a new crux drill. It's automated, they're gonna tell you all about that. And in case they forget what it stands for, because NASA people have to memorize all kinds of acronyms, Crux Drill stands for Construction Resource Utilization Explorer Drill. All right, let's go over here and see what they have to say. It's looking good already. You've got some stuff set up in yep. there. When, we're going to be back tomorrow or the next day? Back this afternoon and making holes by tomorrow. Making holes by tomorrow. Just as if we were making holes in other planets. Come on, let's go get lunch. Don't worry, Mom. That's just Fluffy. He's keeping us safe from polar bears up here. And don't worry, there's not going to be any polar bears. But what's going to keep me safe from Fluffy? I don't know.